clever people, welcome back to my review of Before I Fall. So Before I Fall is Groundhog's Day, except it's a drama teen movie. That's literally what this movie is. If you don't know what Groundhog's Day is about, it's this, uh, th the, this movie is about a girl who, she dies and it's the last day of her life over and over and over and over again. And... It was okay. I wouldn't say it's okay, I'd say it's worse than okay. It's really hard to describe this movie. It does a lot of things well. It does a lot of things pretty badly. Let's start off with the good things. The way they showed the days being repeated over and over again was very clever and unique. I thought that was really well done. Although it did kind of create some plot holes, like really, this is supposed to resemble many, many days happening, so she didn't even try to stop her own death from happening. That's weird. I mean, she's supposed to be smart. And we'll get into that later. The third act is the best part of the movie. While a lot of the things that were bad about the movie still happen in the third act, they aren't as apparent, and a lot of things that were also uh, a lot of other things that were bad about the movie just kind of stopped during the third act. Third act if the entire movie was like the third act, it would have been a much better film. Uh, now let's move on to the bad. The entire movie, the script was just so lazy. It reminded me of Moana in a way that everything in the movie just felt like a convenience, like to make the movie longer or shorter. And what I mean by that is like, there's a scene where she finally does get away from it. And, like, she says, you know, I'm not going to go to that party. And then after the party, she goes to the car crash. You know, I'm just going to stay at home. And she stays at home, and she wakes up at 5 in the morning. And then she's like, oh, no. This character committed suicide. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Go back, go back to sleep. And she wakes up at 6 on the, the exact same day. And I was like, wait, that's, that's kind of an odd choice. Why did that happen? Oh, because they couldn't tell us in any other way that the, that character committed suicide. You know, it's just lazy writing. The characters in this movie are awful. Every single character that you're supposed to feel bad for, except, like, the one that you very obviously feel bad for because of how blatant her character was, all of them were awful. The main character is the worst person ever. I mean, basically, she's friends with a bully. And she is kind of a bully, too. But the movie tries to make it out like, oh, she didn't do the bullying. The character didn't do did the bullying. And she was just under the influence because the, the other character was her friend. But isn't that, like, just as bad? Yeah, she is the worst person Okay, so after she realizes, hey, it's the same day, nothing bad is going to happen to me. So immediately what she does is she acts like the worst person on earth to everyone she knows. Her sister, she, she, she like yells at her parents, she yells at her friends, she yells at literally everyone and acts like the worst person for like 20 minutes in the movie. And you like hate her. But the worst thing about this movie is the unsubtlety of it. The script, even though it's a movie for 13 to 16 year olds, it acts like it's supposed to be a movie for people who were just born. Everyone in the movie is a supermodel. They're super rich. They, have, they, they go to a school that's like a college, like, a really good college. It looks like that. Uh, all the teachers are supermodels, too. And then you've got the person that everyone makes fun of, who looks like she's wearing a rag. She, she, it's very obvious. Her hair is, like, everywhere. She lives in her car. It's like, could you be more unsubtle? You could have had her, like, not, like, live in a normal house or something, or not wearing designer clothes and wearing, like, a normal t-shirt. No, you can't do that. You have to do the most cookie-cutter character in the world. Also, the message of the movie was, like, spoon-fed to you. Like, basically, the message of be the person you are. Don't be a bad person. 
So, you know what? You know, instead of subtly implementing it, let's have one of the main character's friends have... Be the person that you are on their wall. Yeah, that's great. We don't have to write anything in. We can just put it on the wall. Great. And the the twist seemed very implausible. There could have been many different things that that happened. That could have happened. Like really? Okay. I, I I'm gonna talk about it when the video's over, cause it is very it's it's spoiler territory. But it was so badly done. But yeah. Before I Fall, it did some things right, but it did more things badly than it did right, and that's why I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It's so upsetting because I really wanted to like this movie, and it's so, it's just a movie that after you see it, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I gave it like an 8 out of 10 out of the theater, cause, and like the, the thing, I, I was thinking, hey, it's, it's, a bit, uh, uh, it's a bit unsubtle, but you know, I can get over that. And then, like, over on, I'm like, oh my god, wait, what? How did I think that? That was so unsubtle. That was insane. But yeah, uh, my Oscar discussion video about what won, I'm going to discuss that in a video coming out soon. I got an event screening for Table 19. Talking about screenings, this was a screening. Thank you to Open Road Films for letting me see this early. And I also got a signed poster, so that's awesome. Oscar discussion video should be up soon. Table 19 review should be up soon. Get out review. I'm seeing that this weekend. I thought I was going to see it over the weekend, but I did not get a chance. So I should be seeing this weekend. United Kingdom, maybe. Logan, definitely. Okay. So, uh, we're about to get into spoiler territory, so, uh, this is your warning. So basically what happens is the main character dies in a car crash. That's how that, it just keeps repeating. Basically, what happens is the, the character that they keep bullying it uh, committed suicide the day that uh, she died. And what happened was she ran up to a car, the, uh, the car got in a car crash, and her committing suicide was the result of her dying, the main character dying. And at, at the end of the movie, she's like, wait, don't go, I know what you have planned. She's like, you have nothing. Uh, I, I have to do this, and then she runs in front of the car, and basically, the main character pushes her out of the way, and she dies. What could have happened is, I don't know, you could have, like, held her, or, like, pushed her to the ground, and to keep that from happening. It seemed very avoidable, what happened in the movie. So that concludes my review. I'm Connor Gilbert, and this has been your favorite critics. Goodbye.